Well, welcome back. This uh, lesson's on special right triangles with geometric means. Okay, uh, so I have a couple of theorems, uh, and I did this in color so you can see what the picture is here. Uh, if the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, so here's a picture of that right here. Um, see, there's the hypotenuse in red, and here's the altitude in blue. Okay, so there's the altitude drawn to the hypotenuse of the right triangle. Uh, then all three triangles end up being similar, okay? And note that little funny symbol means similar. And I had to do that with my mouse, so it's kind of sloppy, but um, a little squiggly means similar. Can you guys see three triangles there? The two little guys and the one big guy right there. So, um, so uh, there's the big guy, the whole triangle, and then the two little guys, like if I took scissors and cut them up right there. And there's three similar triangles right there. So triangle ABC on the left. And then look at the middle triangle. Angle A is equal to angle A. So you have to go use angle A in the second part. And since I went A to B where the right angle is, I have to go A to D where the right angle is. So it's triangle ADC. And then look at the big triangle on the left and the little triangle way on the right. They're both angle C. So C has to be in the same spot. And the, and the right angle has to be in the same spot also. So it, it's similar to triangle BDC. Okay, and there's this thing called a projection. The projection of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is the piece of the hypotenuse that the leg touches. So for example, see there's that altitude, BD, going down there. It cuts those, that hypotenuse into two pieces, AD and DC. Those are both projection pieces. So AD is the projection because this, this uh, piece of the hypotenuse is touching this leg. So it's the projection with this leg. Okay, And then um, DC, this little piece, is the piece of the hypotenuse that's touching this leg of the right triangle. So it's the projection to leg BC. Okay, You need to know those to know about geometric means. That's coming up. So recall, I've got to remind you guys what, uh, what geometric mean means, and I'm going to abbreviate GM for geometric mean. Uh, if X is geometric mean between A and B, then you get this proportion. You put X in the bottom left and X in the top right, and A and B go in the other two spots, and then you just cross multiply. Okay, so here's a couple of theorems about geometric means. Okay, each leg of a right triangle is the geometric mean. So remember, you got this right triangle. AB is a leg, and so is BC. It's also a leg. And they're both geometric means. So they go bottom left, top right. And they're geometric means between their projections and their whole hypotenuse. So let's deal with leg AB right here. Bottom left, top right. AB is touching AD, so that goes right here. And then the whole hypotenuse is AC. So that's going to go in the other spot right there. Okay, so AB is the geometric mean between uh, AD and AC. And then BC is the geometric mean between um, uh, its projection, DC, and the whole hypotenuse still is AC. Okay, and then uh, that altitude, there's one more projection piece. The altitude going down here is also a geometric mean. So it goes bottom left, top right. And it's the geometric mean between both pieces of the hypotenuse, AD and DC. All right, let's try some of these, you guys. So let's find the value of x in each, okay? It depends on what pieces they give you. Okay, here they give you the altitude, you guys. So it's the geometric mean, bottom left, top right. It's the geometric mean between both pieces of hypotenuse that it cuts up. So cross multiply, x squared equals 4 times 9, which is 36, and then square root 36, and you get uh, x equals 6. Okay, let's try another. Okay, here's a leg. This time the leg is a geometric mean, bottom left, top right, between the projection, which is that 2, and the whole hypotenuse. Do you see where I got 10? 2 plus 8 is 10, so it's the whole hypotenuse. Then you cross multiply, x squared equals 20, square root both sides, and I teach kids how to simplify square roots by getting the prime factorization of that number inside. And then you can see that two twos, uh, see the blue twos now? The two twos on the inside bring one two on the outside, so the answer is two root five. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, now another altitude. That altitude is the geometric mean between both pieces of the hypotenuse, so the eight and the x plus three. Okay, and then cross multiply. Eight times x plus three equals six times six. Distribute the 8 through 8x plus 24 equals 36. Subtract uh, 24. 
divide by 8. Sorry, it's kind of a mess right there. 8 over 8 and then 12 over 8 reduces to 3 over 2 because 4 goes into 12 3 times. 4 goes into 8 2 times. So you get x equals 3 halves. Uh, okay, that's it for now.